Hello friends, welcome to QA Automation World. In this video, we are going to see how we can perform different operation on drop down uh, with Selenium. So let's see the details. So on a drop down, we can perform um, like as mentioned, we can perform select value operation. So we can select a particular value from the drop down, get single value means get the uh, uh, value. Uh, which is selected in in the drop down get all the values present in the drop down and as per our need we can do the verification for one value or uh, multiple value the thing is uh, this will be the single select uh, drop down there can be a, a multi select drop down or selection list for that um, i have created another video uh, you need to uh, refer that video so let's see on the ui how this can be done so you can see select value here you can select any one value at a time so for skills we have selected this analytics there are multiple values present inside the uh, skills drop down so here we will target this particular uh, skills uh, drop down uh, to check the uh, different operations so for that let's create one class okay let's create class my my drop down and uh, and and i just kept the uh, launching code ready so i will use the same code as it is so this code is going to uh, launch the application okay fine so this is our target to select the values from this skills drop down and this code will launch the application so the thing is how we can get the control of that particular drop down so selenium provided one class and the class name is select so i am just using the same class okay so you can see this select class is provided by selenium to perform the operation on drop down and we need to pass that particular element in the constructor so now we need to get that particular element so i will go to the firefox then firepath and let's see okay so you can see this is a select for this particular combo box and let's expand so there are multiple options you can see all options are available under the select so whenever such a type of structuring in present for the drop down you can go ahead and use the select class okay so i will just write the select and uh, let's check this xpath so it's correct so it is referring to the select for drop down combo box so this is i got the xpath so what i will do find element by dot xpath i will put the xpath so find elements return type is web element web element element so now done I got that combo box or drop down and I just passed to the select method so now I can go ahead and use the methods provided by select class and those will be applicable on the drop down so select dot select so you can see there are three method uh, select by index select by value select by visible text so index it will be the indexing of the all the options select by value and select by visible text so let's see on the ui so you can see so for this element adobe in design so value is adobe in design and visible text will be this in in our particular case so the value and text is same so we can use any one of them so currently I am going to use 
visible text and I know there is one option called Android I just I just copy that operation uh, element okay so done so by this way I am going to select the uh, this Android text into the combo box I can use rest of the two operation as well you can go ahead and try those two operation select by index and select by value so here I have selected it then select dot deselect okay so these are the operations available uh, for select uh, class but this will not be applicable since this is not the multi select uh, drop down so that's why like we we should not use this we will see at the end uh, what will happen if we try to use this so currently I will use another operation like maybe get first selected or get all selected but again at since we are able to select only one option so we will get the only one web element in, in return so currently I will use get first selected option okay so what is the return type of this it's again a web element so web element first element so we will get the first element so I will I will check so currently we have selected Android so in return we should get that particular element but it's a element so we need to get the text so let's do one thing sys out first element is equal to plus and what I will do dot get text okay fine now I will get the text so whatever the value we have selected we should get the same value again as I mentioned get get all selected option this will also return the only one selected option this will be again applicable for the drop down where we can select the multiple option as I mentioned uh, it's covered in the another video please refer that particular video so I got that particular uh, first selected option so what are the different operation applicable for drop down so you can see get option so now this is applicable for drop down for our drop down the reason is uh, it is having multiple uh, element it is having multiple element and from that we are selecting a particular option so that's why get options so here we will get the list of options we will get the list of options so why this is required so if there is a uh, test case which is saying please verify that uh, maybe 10 values are present inside the drop down or not now here you you can go ahead and use this particular uh, method get options which will list down all the uh, all the options and uh, you can uh, get your verification done with the help of this method so what I need to do I got the list of all the options so I will put the for loop for each and I will put okay I, instead of that what I will do I will put options plus so one by one I am going to get the text from each and every option so uh, let's let's revise this program so you can see we got the control of the drop down we selected the Android value we got that particular value as a return type as a web element we printed the uh, selected values text it should be Android and then we try to get uh, all the values and we printed all the values text so this is what we have done in this script so let's see what happens on the UI let me run this script
okay so browser is launched let's see what happens okay so so you can see android is selected over here android is selected over here and let's check out this code okay so you can see script is passed but let's see the result so let me show you so you can see in the log the first element this one first element so this code got executed once we selected that android value and after that we just got the all the options get options and all the options so now you can see all the options are listed over here so if you want you can go ahead and put the assert statement assert statement to verify a particular value or multiple value again i want to show you one more point over here deselect all or any deselect method so let's see what happens if we try to use this particular method deselect all so we will run this code and we will see the result okay value is selected and let's check the code okay you can see my script is failed because you may only deselect all option for multi select and the drop down which we are referring it's not a multi select drop down so that's why deselect option will not be applicable so you can see op unsupported operation exception so that's why if your drop down is a single select drop down you can perform only this particular operation so this is all about the drop down so as i mentioned you can refer another video for uh, multi select selection list or drop down and i will keep posting a few interesting videos so stay tuned thank you guys bye